Hi, I'm Tad, the Diet Coach, and on today's question and answer, I'm going to talk about something a little different. I'm not going to answer any questions, actually. I'm going to, I wanted to talk about um, attitude and how important it is during contest prep or any kind of dieting or even when you're bulking up in the off season. Atti uh, and some people may think, oh gosh, you know, attitude, you know, you always hear about this sort of cliche. But the, the truth is, is that attitude actually can affect your biology. Um, they've done some studies and they have seen that when you're, when you act as though you are uh, powerful and confident, your biology actually changes. And when you act as though you are stressed or you are, or you are stressed, then you actually your biology changes as well. So whenever you're going through a contest prep or whenever you're trying to bulk up, when your life is very, very stressful, very, very anxious, very anxiety ridden, um, you have a tendency to have um, cortisol levels be much higher. They've shown, they've shown the studies, it's a, it's, a real, it's a real thing that happens to you. Testosterone levels actually drop dramatically and cortisol levels actually um, raise dramatically within minutes of you being um, under lots of stress or duress or being stressed out or being under a lot of anxiety um, or even just feeling the feeling of being disempowered or being small and diminutive, so to speak. Um, the exact opposite happens when you feel the opposite of that. And so biologically, stress and your attitude, um, the way you approach the world often can oftentimes affect um, your biology and can affect your contest prep, how effective you are at losing body fat, how effective you are at gaining muscle, how effective you are in your, how, and how um, quickly and how responsive your body becomes to the nutrients, to the training, to all these things. We automatically put enough stress on our bodies when we train. Um, we don't need to um, put the undue stress. And these stress, and now there's a good stress and there's bad stresses. And so some of, but, but all of the biological responses are the same. Hormonally, those responses are actually pretty, pretty identical. So our bodies weren't made uh, to be under lar um, moderate stress the way we the way our society today is moderate stress for long periods of time years on end. But that's exactly what we do. We put we have moderate moderate to, to mild levels of stress for long periods of time, and this creates all kinds of health problems, whether you know, raised cortisol levels, insulin levels go up, um, it, it bridges synaptic gaps, so if this continues on for years and years and years, oftentimes people have increases of senility and um, dementia and these kinds of things. So it's, there's all kinds of health um, risks and health benefits to keeping your attitude in the right place, which alleviates stress and helps you um, conquer some of these things. So the most important thing is, and this is what I stress, and people hear me all the time, and, and I sound uh, oftentimes like a broken record, but I, it's the truth, um, and it has a major impact on in my life and also in other people's lives. And that is and the attitude of gratitude. Starting your day with with a bit of gratitude. Being if you can wake up every day and breathe oxygen, you have something to be thankful for. And then that by itself, it's very difficult to have a bad day when you're grateful, when you started off with gratitude. So, um, and when you start that way, it's really surprising how biologically it changes you and can affect contest prep, can affect your diet, can affect how your body responds, can affect all of these different um, kinds of things going on in your, in your life and in your body. So this, so the takeaway here today is that your attitude um, can oftentimes overpower some of these kinds of stress responses merely by just emulating the the kind of non-stressful environment that you want. Even if you're still stressed, you want to emulate, you want to have the attitude, you want to have the sort of fake it till you make it attitude, and it really, really, really does work, and it can change your biology. So I hope this was helpful. I, 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 ha I could speak for a couple hours on the, uh, on, the, um, on the subject matter of attitude, and I really, really, I really it has transformed my life personally, um, and I believe in it 100%. And that's the only way I know how to live, is to be grateful and to have a positive attitude and to really relinquish um, the anxiety of life as much as I possibly can. Let it go. It doesn't help me, it doesn't serve me, and it won't serve you either. So I hope this was helpful. Um, keep sending your questions in. I'll return to some questions probably tomorrow, um, and um, we will, uh, and I'll see you, I'll see you manana, okay? So this is Tad the Diet Coach saying, be positive.